Hello and Happy New Year! If you are new to this channel, my name is Kian. I am a first year Canadian medical student and this channel is all about my medical school journey. So if you want to know what life is really like as a medical student, I think I am a fairly good representation because I'm very average when it comes to the medical student. Mm. Anyways, it is 2019! <laughs> oh my gosh. 2018 went by so fast. I always get bursts of energy with the new year. I'm like, oh my gosh, new year, new me. And like, obviously that lasts until like the second week of January. But I think that it's not a bad thing to take advantage of these newfound sources of motivation. So that's exactly what I did, and I did a desk makeover. So if you want to watch that, keep on watching this video because that is what it's all about. So to give some context, my desk started off as this pine desk. It was very functional, it had great surface area, it had drawers for storage. However, I just really wasn't happy with how the desk felt, and it wasn't somewhere that I wanted to sit down and study. So with this new year, I wanted to create a space that makes me really happy and hopefully boosts my productivity. Above my desk is this beautiful, simple, clean white bookshelf, and I wanted the desk to match the bookshelf better, so I decided that I would just repurpose this desk and give it a makeover by painting it white. I should preface this by saying that I have literally no experience with any sort of woodwork, any sort of painting. Anything that I'm about to do is basically for the first time, so. <laughs> So the very first thing I did was reorganize my desk, get rid of any clutter that I didn't need, and sort of move things into positions that made more sense and created easier access and greater efficiency. So for example, I'd put like all my pens together. Seems very basic, but this was not very organized to begin with. Um, I also did the organization first because I knew that if I painted the desk and everything that I probably would do like a very poor job of organizing because I'd just be so tired after the project. So the first phase of the desk makeover was filling in all of the dents because this desk has been used and abused and yeah, we really want like a smooth surface to paint on. So I used wood filler and a little scrapey tool. Yeah, I basically just asked my dad, uh, what should I do? And then he showed me. So yeah, this is what I did. So after filling in all the holes with the wood filler, I just sanded the desk to make it super smooth for painting, and yeah, I actually really liked this part of the process. It was really calming and methodical, but as the process went on, I got pretty impatient. Alright, so I am sanding the desk. I really wish I had an electric sander, but I got these arms. So I started painting and the paint was not very opaque, the wood really showed through. And as I was doing this, I actually thought that this was a really nice look. It looks very rustic and it kind of gave me beachy vibes. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately that didn't really match. So I kept painting for a really opaque white, but I think in the future it would be kind of fun to buy like old wood furniture and paint over it and yeah, just kind of be creative with it. So after adding a second coat, uh, the paint's quite a bit more opaque, which is a step in the right direction. And now we're adding the second coat on the top of the desk. All right, so I did not realize that you're supposed to paint one coat, let it dry, and then lightly sand it. So currently there's two coats on there. I'm gonna let it dry overnight, and then we'll sand it and do another coat tomorrow. So the next phase was getting knobs for my drawers. I wanted something that was just like, ah, amazing. I wanted the knobs to be like a little extra because I only needed three knobs. So like if they were kind of like fancy, it wasn't gonna break the budget. So 
it is the next day and I'm really excited because I finally found the perfect little diamond knob to go in my drawers. I think it'll just really spice up the desk. The paint is dry, so it's ready for its second coat, which I will be doing later. So I am done painting and this is the desk. Woo! Look how white it is on top. So it's still a little shiny. The paint is actually matte, but it's wet right now. Um, but I am so pleased with how it turned out. I really love the look of the white with the wood. I think if I did it all white, it would just be like too much. And I was also thinking this big sort of empty space here would be, excuse my crazy hair, I just got out of bed. I woke up like this. Um, I think that space would be perfect to put like um, a canvas. And I thought that I would put some sort of motivational quote to remind myself to work hard um, over top of this canvas. So that's what we're gonna do next. The diamond handles are on. So this is all the stuff that was in slash on my desk, plus this little pile here. So now we just have to move this thing back, take off the tape, remove the sheet, and organize the desk. So I bought this giant sheet of clear plastic. That is what it looks like. And that's just to protect the paint because it's very matte and it's very prone to like getting scratched. So yeah, I think that'll help. Alrighty, that is the finished desk. So that is the desk makeover. I am so happy with it. Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna close the video here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Also, I posted a poll on the future videos that you might be interested in watching. So be sure to check that out in the community tab and throw a vote in there so that I get a better idea of how to better serve this channel. Bye for now.